file on Joy 99.7 FM on television. This is um, your uh, Joy News channel on Multi TV. Now, uh, I, I think I'd like to start with you uh, this time. Uh, Nanakumia, uh, Dr. Espio Gabra, of uh, course, Gabra, appeared before the vetting uh, committee of parliament, <coughs> appointments committee of parliament, and during his vetting, one matter came up very strongly. It was that he had been heard or written to say earlier during President Mills' time that he was dealing with a team B when there was a team A that could, you know, help him properly. And people said that it was because he had been left out of their boats. He wanted to come in and he, was, he, he wasn't happy about it. He apologized for it and said that uh, he didn't actually say what people suggested he had said. My question is, if he had said something that he believed in, why should he be apologizing? And if he didn't say it like he claims, why should he be apologizing? Well, Samson, those questions are legitimate. If you've said something that you believe in um, and you've changed your mind, say that I have changed my mind. Um, but he seemed to imply mm. that he rather mm. is a victim, that he has been misunderstood. And that he was only talking about things that were being talked about already by Ghanaians. That, that cannot be sincere. If you, if you made a position there two, three years ago and you changed that position, say so. And, and let's move on. You see, what, there's one is, uh, funny thing. When uh, Spielgabra made his famous Team B categorization, the, the, the city was about one city. 25 persuasive. Yeah, so back to the no, no, no. The, the city was about one city, 25 persuasive to the dollar. And he said the team was the performance was team B. That's nine months into the government. Today, the city is four cities to the dollar. So, how would they categorize no, no, the, the, the team? Let's correct this. It's not four cities. What is it? Nana. No, no. what, what is it? No, no, it's not four cities. What is it? No, but you know. It's below. No, what he is knows. it? He knows. Nana knows. No, what is it? Tell me. No, but Nana knows. It's no. not four cities. Okay, can, can I go on? No, so. Thank, thank you. Yes. Samson, I said very clear that today the city is about. You can clearly understand about, <coughs> Mr. My brother, and don't try to harass me needlessly. I'm saying to you that today the city is about four cities to the dollar. So if if Spiogaba was going to do a categorization, I don't know which class you would put the thing. <coughs> but there's a small point. I thought that Spiogabra, you look at it, I happen to have a look at a CV from a colleague. Mm. And it appeared to be there's, there's too much self promotion in the CV. I was the first to do that. I achieved this. I, achieved, I thought it was a bit too much. Mm. And it got him into trouble at the vet. Why? If he's confident in touting what he has done, what's but wrong it with got that? him into trouble at the vet. For, for example, he had written clearly that he was in secondary school at nine years old. <laughs> and that became an issue at the vet. And it turned out that even at the primary school, he repeated once or twice. So then he, he, he got to the secondary school when he was in class three and all of that. It was very bizarre. Meat of remember the matter. Meat of the matter. That, you know, when you are doing your CVs and all of that, just stick to the core issues. There was an uh, uh, entry about him being the first something, something to give a donation to nukes. <laughs> in this on the CV, I mean, what is this? Well, that's got to be the name. Okay, and okay. I can't that that is not even true. <laughs> okay, just just one minute. Let's, <laughs> let, 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 let's listen totally to this, this small portion during the, the vetting of uh, Dr. Espio Gabra. Of course, Espio Gabra. If one were reading this article carefully, you reach the conclusion that Echo Espio Gabra has not said or written that all members of any particular government are Team A or Team B. Nor has he indicated that any of the members of any particular government are Team A or Team B. He is reporting as a communications person will do. And if you go to the Institute of Public Relations or any other public affairs institution, they'll tell you one of the first responsibilities of a, a communication professional is to keep an ear to the ground regarding your organization, whether it is VRA, ECG, or Google Board, and to report to your senior management any adverse comments you may read about your organization in the media. So in this particular instance, the view was that I had heard on radio stations some other people referring to some ministers as Team B. And I was drawing the attention of my colleagues in the party to that affair. I was not saying that I myself felt that way. 
and in unfortunately, you have seen the article in front of you, but this has, of course, been by virtue of propaganda and political distortion, the impression has been created that this was my view, and it has been put into my mouth, even though, as you can see, this was never expressed. Yes, uh, and that was uh, Dr. Ekos Piogabra there. Uh, Kuku, there are some who are suggesting, Baba Jamar uh, particularly, suggesting that he'll find it difficult working with uh, the team he had called Team B. Well, I'm sure they would bury those uh, differences and contradictions and move on as one unit. I suspect that would happen, you know. But uh, Baba Jamar was one of those vocal critics of uh, Spew when this Team B issue came up, Nina T. Van der Poel and some others. So, uh, I'm not too sure he wasn't minister about at the that, time. yes. Mm. No, but so I wasn't surprised that it came up. Maybe it was uh, overrated, but I believe they will, they will proceed in one unit. But you see, I was surprised to hear that Spew did not make those statements. I thought he did, and even if he didn't, I think he took ownership of them and enjoyed the, you know, the publicity that came with it. So I was wondering why he was attempting to push out that. And at the time he had a reply from is it uh, Atua Hoy? Atua Hoy, a copy of which I have here. <laughs> but you see, I think, and I have to be very fair to Spew, I've been unable to assess a copy of the graphic article he wrote, which Atua Hoy was reacting to, because that would then make us do a more dispassionate right. and balanced analysis. But you see, Atua Hoy makes a point that uh, you are dying, I'm quoting, mm. you are dying to be a minister in President Mills' government, yet you are insulting your potential colleagues that they have, and quote, have not been appointed on the basis of merit by virtue of proximity to power, French loyalty, financial considerations, and other factors, quote, close of quote. Are you implying that you were appointed a minister in the 1990s by some of these same reasons like French loyalty and financial considerations. And that's why I say it's a bit difficult for me because if we are to assess the original doc, uh, article and if this quote is appropriate, accurate, mm -hmm. then indeed Team B itself was even not much of a problem. This is more serious. Okay? This is more serious in the sense that he questioned even the loyalty and uh, commitment of some of his colleagues. But they, they are members of one political party. Mm -hmm. So, and the president who did appointment was then the vice president, okay? And then we all knew that Spew, in his attempt to wrestle the leadership mantle from Mills, from Professor, Professor Mills, engaged in some campaign where he described himself as the David who was out to deal with the Goliath and all this. This created all sorts of dynamics in the party. I think they've gone beyond that as at now. It's Phil's own credibility that is at stake. Assuming we were to do some double checking and indeed his uh, submission at the vetting that he didn't say those things, it turns out not to be true. Then he has a personal issue to deal with. But otherwise, I think this may end up being buried and the party and the government will move forward as a unit. That's the way I see it. I yeah. see. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, you haven't spoken to this. Thank you me. also have not. What, what do you say? You were not minister at the time. Yes. So you would uh, put yourself as not being one of the targets of that comment at the time. Yes. Uh, well, something. Um, Gabra um, sought to explain the circumstances and uh, uh, which the Team B comment was attributed to him. He said it didn't come from him directly. He was only re-echoing certain public sentiments. By Syria Coles or at the time. Radio. <laughs> now, clearly, Spiogabra wrote an article, and he put that article before the vetting committee. Oh, OK. Yes, he did. Now, if you consider the fact that before one is vetted, by the uh, appointments committee of parliament 
you are made to take an oath to speak the truth and therefore could be dealt with for perjury if you speak a lie you 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 you, you tell a lie then i have cause to think that Spio Gabra may be right in saying that at the time he was misrepresented. Be that as it may, I would rather concentrate or concern myself with uh, what Spio Gabra stands for and what is capable of bringing on board to turn things around for uh, President Mohammed's administration. I don't think that anybody has doubts about the competence of Spio Gabra. Okay, so that's taken uh, for granted. It's Nana, why, yes. It's why we are discussing this. That's right. Nana Kumia uh, cited a few instances of, I mean... The city rate. Some inconsistencies in his CV. The city rate. But I think that those are trivialities who should be swept under the carpet. Let's they look the at the CV. substance. They were in the CV. Let's look at the substance <laughs> Spio Gabra no, brings on board. And I'm saying that CV, nobody can take away from Spio Gabra the fact that the CV. he is a very competent <laughs> personality. <laughs> Apart from uh, holding several ministerial positions, and I believe Spio Gabra, when he held those positions, he clearly acquitted himself well. He's also held some international positions. He's been the CEO of the Commonwealth uh, Telecommunications Organization. That is an important milestone. And so the CV of Spio was very rich. I, I suspect that is why the vetting committee on that occasion did what was unprecedented. He was vetted for well over five hours. But Spio Gabra clearly, 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 people could see the substance in him. He demonstrated that, look, he is very competent and can contribute a lot uh, uh, to the success of President um, Mahama. So, uh, all said and done, an opposition MP in the person of Honorable Titus Glover, even after the vetting, came out clearly and stated that Spio Gabra had excelled. We should concentrate on this and not uh, uh, talk about the trivial issues about how many years Spio Gabra spent in primary school, etc. No, but he put that in his mm. CV oh, and, and sent it to the committee. Uh, Kweku, sometimes, He's made an issue. sometimes, sometimes you state certain things in your CV. And you have referred to that already. And so then you come to the realization, on. when you appear before you, the vetting committee... You have already said it is trivial, it is not important. Uh, yes. So why don't you just So, So I, I, I think that uh, it is time to put the Team B <laughs> comment yes. behind us mm -hmm. and forge ahead in unity. More importantly, he has apologized. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. That's, that's all. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> well, I take it up from the point mm. you have made about the apology. Right. The, 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 the question that some ask is that it does not sound as if we are dealing with politicians who do not play the game by conviction, but convenience. So that at one point, if you really felt strongly about this statement and made it, he should stand by it. And not because at this time he's being vetted for the position, he now chooses to apologize. Well, I do not want to go that way, except to say that whatever may have been said I mean, uh, is now a thing of the past. Because the president, I believe at the time, who <coughs> was then the vice president and a member of the government, and who might have also played a very important role in the appointment of those who were so I mean, described, would have taken these things into account. And then uh, come to the conclusion that those notwithstanding, I want him to be part of my team. And he, on the other hand, too, would have considered those things and then have uh, accepted the, 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 the appointment. So the, the concern would have been whether or not they could work together. And at this point, I think we can assume that they can, they can work together. But on the issue of whether we should take politicians' <coughs> weight for what they are, I mm. think that uh, people are developing their own uh, attitude towards that. And I'm sure over the years, uh, we'll come to see that. Something, help me out. <laughs> Where is Neil now? Neil and T. He's, he's, he's no longer a trader. He's the minister for, local deputy government. minister for local government. Local oh, government. that's it. Then that's good. Because they would have had difficulties. All right. Together. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, because he used he to be in the ministry yeah, where Spio is And he publicly over. took on Spio at a, at a funeral, opening mm. with Professor Miss, everybody there in a very, very direct way. So that would have created some personal problems. Mm. But interesting. Maybe the president knew why he moved to me ahead of time. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, 